I think uh, I want to ask a question. Why are we all here tonight? Um, and I propose that the answer is because this life is worthless. This world is worthless. Uh, compared to the next world and compared to the next life. And so we're all here to testify to that with our actions. That's why we're not in our bed right now sitting comfortable because we're saying with our actions, this life is worthless and meaningless and nothingness compared to the next life. Um, today in the Tarawih, uh, there's a beautiful verse that was read, uh, where God t tells us, and he says, Listen to what God tells you. This is good news to all of you guys. This is congratulations to all of you. God says to all of us, and we're supposed to see the Quran like it was, like it's revealed to us, like it's being spoken to us. God is speaking to us. So God says, You don't know. You don't know what God is hiding for you that's going to make you so happy because of what you used to do. You don't know what God has stored for you that's going to bring you so much joy and pleasure and happiness because of what you used to do. Because of moments like this. Because of this world is nothing. It's this world, God says in his sight, this whole entire world, universe, isn't worth the wing of one mosquito. <laughs> the wing of one mosquito. The, the last person to enter heaven, he gets the least, he has the smallest space in heaven. And you know what he gets? He comes crawling crawling and he can't believe it. He's like, God, you're going to give me heaven? You're, you're not joking? You're not like, you're, you're really going to give me heaven? And he comes crawling, the last person, and he says, I'm going to give you 10 times the entire world. 10 times. So this place, this is, this is crumbs. This is crumbs. And we need that perspective that we're not chasing crumbs, you know, fighting over crumbs, brothers fighting with each other and, and, and cousins fighting with each other and uncle. Because of what? Because of crumbs? Like we're bigger than that. This world is meaningless. This world is nothing. And we're waiting for what God is hiding for us, what God is storing for us. And we'll be patient here. We'll be patient. This is the domain of difficulty. However, the friend of God loves this world. Why? That's weird. One third of the Quran belittles this world and the people of this world. One third of the Quran belittles this world and the people of this world. But why does the wali, the friend of Allah, why, did they, why does he love this world? Because the dunya mazra'atul akhirah. Because we only, because in this world, we plant for what we're going to get in the next world. Because what we do tonight, standing, praising the beloved, our feet hurt, our ankles hurt. Oh my God, why do I have to stand? What is he even saying? He's making this long supplication in another language. I don't even know what he's saying. What is he saying? But we stay sitting and our back hurts and our hands hurt and our elbows hurt. And then one day Allah is storing for you and hiding for you things that you're just going to be like, Thank God I stood up. Thank God my ankles hurt. Thank God my back hurt. So this is good news for all of us being right here, testifying to God that we submit to him, that he owns our time. We don't own it. We manage it. He owns us. We only man. He owns our body. We just manage it. He owns our hands and our feet, our heart, our money. We just manage it. He owns our hair. He owns our time. He owns our eyes, our ears, our hands. We just manage them. And one day they'll speak, and inshallah they'll testify. And they'll say on April, what is it, 22nd, that he came to the MCC in East Bay Pleasanton, and he stood. And, and the feet will say, he stood. And the hands will say, and he prayed. And, and the eyes will say, he looked at the Quran. And the ears will say, he used me to listen to the Quran. You know, there was this one lady, she was in front of the Kaaba, 
and she couldn't read. She was illiterate. She couldn't read or write. But she took the, the mushaf, she took the copy of the Quran, she took the Quran, and she would take her finger on every single line and her eyes on every single line of the whole, every page of the whole mushaf. Why? Just so on the day of judgment she can say, her finger will testify, touched every line, like to be close. Her eyes will testify, her hands, her fingers. So this this world, this this world is is nothing, and that's why we're here. May Allah accept from all of us. May Allah bless all of us. May Allah make this a beautiful night. If you do the math, one second is equal to 22 years, at least. If this is the night of power, because it's worth more than a thousand months, right? If you do the math, nine hours, and you divide it by a thousand months, and you do the ratio, at least, because it's khayrun min al fijar. If you do the math, one second of Laylatul Qadr, is equal to at least 22 years of reward. Years. 22 months. 22 hours? <laughs> Which one is it? 22 hours. I think it's 22 hours. Sorry. Sorry. I think it's 22 hours. I just did the math like two days ago. One second is worth 22 hours. So if you say, subhanAllah, Get the reward of saying it for 22 hours. So, so in these 10 days, give charity every one of these 10 days. Call your mom, call your dad every one of these 10 days. And very, very, do all the different types of actions and rewards so Allah can hide for us and store, store for us a surprise of all the reward, inshallah. May Allah accept. Ameen. Ameen.